today's session we are going to talk about uh, analytics annotation so what is the why first why we use this analytics annotation so this annotation helps you know for the for the multi-dimensional data consumption you know where we can perform data aggregations and slicing and dicing okay and in order to consume these uh, cds views entities which we are creating in the analytical query designer from the fury uh, at that time also we need to uh, you know uh, uh, apply this analytics annotation of type cube okay the analytical manager needs a star schema multi-dimensional and a query to consume the data okay so next point when coming to this uh, analytical analytics annotations so these are some of the annotations like analytics data category it is one of the which is one of the important one when we creating a cds view so we need to uh, mention using this analytics tag whether what kind of data this cds view is representing either it is representing a master data or it is representing a transactional data or it is representing a uh, data of type q which follows a star schema okay so here mass data means nothing but dimension we mention it as a dimension and transactional data we mention as a factor okay data category as a factor and when it comes to the star schema kind of data set then we create cube type of analytical data category aggregation level is a you know a kind for packing functionalities we have this one which we discuss in later sessions so i and i hope it is understood so going to the next one let's jump into the system and create one cds view entity and apply this annotation tag and see how it is useful okay so now i am jumping into my system now let's create one uh, new cds view so data definition i am giving my own naming here jada underscore smart ac docker uh, for, for example not ac docker first what i will do is i will create one cds view with master data property okay which is nothing but company code i am creating company code master data md so company code master data now in this cds view what i will do is i will apply the data category as a um, dimension here i am defining a view entity finish and then here i am selecting data from where i am selecting data from t001 table which is the company code master data and if I go to the backend SC11 of T001, let me take a few, you know, few fields from here. Language key chart of accounts. Let's take these few fields and go here. I am creating a very simple CDS view just to show you the uh, data category dimension. I am defining it as a key. BUK is company code as a key. And the remaining fields all acts as a characteristics okay so company code is a key now in this, in this uh, cds view entity i am defining this uh, um, analytics annotation analytics dot data category okay so here if i press control space bar then i can see the hint of different data categories aggregation level cube dimension dark store fact and all i am taking dimension so why i given dimension because when uh, dimension is is mainly for the master data it means it represents the master data of company code and remaining all other attributes characteristics of that company code this company code is the key for this entire data set later point we can consume this particular cds view as an association in our cube type of um, cds view okay so here what we can do that's it uh, just activating this uh, cds view so basically when we create this uh, on this data category the main important ones are the dimensions and the fact and cube okay now this is a dimension i activated it uh, there are no errors we are done now i am creating one more um, you know no, cds view entity where, where on ac docker table cube let's say cube one already cube is there so cube on ac docker here also i am defining a view entity and i am bringing data from ac docker table 
and the columns which I'm going to bring is just I have already one CDS view. I will copy fields from here to here. Okay. So this is the view, a CDS view on AC Doc. So in this CDS view, what I can, can what I'm doing, I am defining my analytics dot data category as cube. So why I'm defining it as a cube? Because uh, this AC Docker data is a transactional data. Okay, and in this data, what I can do to create a star schema, I can create associations on the master data. For example, if I want to create an association in this uh, data category to bring the master data information, what I can do, I can create a, you know, I can write association here, uh, association. Sorry. Mm, association to jdi underscore smed um, company code master data okay as i i can give alias name here for this company code and then on here i am writing because i am performing association i need to perform the uh, write the on condition on so the which column in my seed in my transaction data i can refer as a key to the company code master data rbukrs so projection means projection represents the the fields from the existing uh, view okay so projection projection dot rbukrs is equal to and uh, the um, key from the as a, uh, associated CDSU master data. that is underscore company code is the alias name here dot the field from the company code master data which is nothing but BUKRS is the company code so using this uh, association I am doing it so what it is saying uh, is not used we created an association but uh, I am not yet defined any field from the association in our CDSU so what I can do after my KOKRS, I can take this company code dot BUKRS. Okay, so I am defining this. Uh, I am using uh, sorry, company code, uh, bringing company code again doesn't make any sense. Uh, so I can bring company code text from this table. Okay, so like this, uh, I am by doing association with master data and uh, bringing the corresponding uh, attributes from the master data. Okay, I am activating this CDS view. So uh, what uh, uh, what we understand is how to you know write this analytics dot data category and what uh, where we exactly write the dimension type and in which places we use the cube type. Okay, uh, for example, uh, fact table means if I'm not performing any association, just bringing the trans trans transactional data, in such cases, uh, we go for a uh, fact kind of a data category. Okay, and what is the use of uh, and importance of writing analytical dot data category hash, you know, cube is, if you want to create a custom analytical query in SAP Fiori, then the CDS view entity must have this analytics data, you know, cube type of annotation. So let me show you that one. Now I'm going to Fiori here. Okay, okay. not it. Uh, for example, uh, how to log into Fiori first point we need to learn. So if I go to my uh, um, SAP logon pad, from there we can you know jump into the S Fiori launch pad. So this was the Fiori launch pad. If I double click, there is a T code for Fiori launch pad. Uh, I will let you know the T code. So by using the Fiori T code, we can launch the Fiori app here. From here, we can select for custom analytical query. Okay, so custom analytical queries we create. Why we create custom analytical query? We create custom analytical query for, uh, you know, so that uh, on top of it, we can uh, integrate it as a, uh, in a tile in the dashboard, in the spaces. Okay, all these we will learn in the coming times. So in this analytical query, we can uh, do the analysis. Okay, now, so like with by using, using rows and columns, you know, uh, we can uh, whatever, uh, um, from whichever CDS show, Q type CDS we are consuming, we can divide it into a reporting format like uh, which comes under rows, which comes under columns, which on which I can apply filters. Uh, after creating entire thing, I can uh, consume this as an uh, tile in the uh, analytical space. From here, 
custom analytic we can create a custom analytical query uh, query so if i click on create button now what is happening a new query is coming right it is asking me to provide a query name here with uh, so whatever custom analytical query i am creating that custom analytical query starts with the uh, zz1 underscore okay how this zz1 is coming i will explain in the next session and followed by i need to give the name q ac doka underscore zero one let me and this is the name i'm giving for the custom analytical query now this custom analytical query i need to create on one data source this data source is nothing but the cube type data source which i cds view which i created earlier now i am searching here jedi underscore smed mm. Where is it? Uh, in this eclipse, you see Jedi underscore SMED is Docker cube one. So when I am searching this cube, this particular CDS view from the custom analytic query, it is not coming. So you know why it is not coming? Because to consume any CDS view from eclipse into this uh, front end, we need to expose, you know, um, release contract. We need to write a release contract, expose it. So if you go to the properties of the CDS view, Jedi SMED AC Docker cube one under the API state we need to use that as a you know contract c1 we need to create it by clicking on the plus symbol you go here and the visibility you know this is nothing but exposing the cds view to the outside world so using cloud applications and using key user apps these two you can check and do the checkbox and click on next button and then click on next it will capture under the year that's whatever changes we are doing this contract will be captured under the uh, app request then we are done so uh, contract was created now go to the fiori and try to search one more time because we are released it now you see now it is coming so now i can select this ac docker uh, cube one as a source to my analytical query okay in bw terms it is like a, we are creating a provider in the back end and creating a bex query kind of thing in the front end okay in bw terminology but uh, yeah now it is creating a custom analytical query on top of the CDS view from the Eclipse. Here I can give this name, AC Doka query. Okay, zero one, I'm giving numbering here. Then next go to the field selection. So in our cube, we may have n number of fields, but when coming to the query part, whichever fields you need for the querying, those you can select here. Okay, as of now, document number is selected here. For example, I'm selecting posting date, company name, uh, physical year, you know, all these I'm selecting from here. Yeah, so whichever is available, all I selected for the query. Now go to the display part. So after whichever you selected on the field selection, those only visible on the display. If there are 100 columns in the field selection and you selected only 10, then those 10 only will be displayed on the display button. Okay. Now what is the use of this display display uh, tab here? Here you can uh, change the properties of how it will be displayed on the query. Okay. For example, if I go to the company, uh, phys, uh, which is it, uh, company code, if this company code is having key and text property and by default, I want to display text on the query, then you can go for this, uh, you know, select this one and select the format as a text here. But in our case, first thing is this company code doesn't have the key and text property. To enable the key and text property, we need to provide, um, you know, uh, corresponding annotations uh, at the uh, base level those not yet defined okay the, those i will explain in our upcoming sessions okay that is this is useful for um, to so here we can change the properties of the columns so how it is gonna display in our query level okay and also uh, in the filter section what and which are you know here one more important thing is which you want to show it on the row section which you want to show it on the column section also we can do. by default the uh, you know key figures will be displayed in the column section okay if you have multiple key figures and you want to show one or two only then you can hide also those key figures by using this display icon okay uh, the label of this uh, amount in company code currency right i can change this label to just simple amount okay uh, here like this also we can change the labels mm, and which i want uh, in the row for example i need company code uh, physical year on the row section so select the physical year under dimension format not here sorry access as a row 
okay and for example company code also i want to see it on the row section so select the row now what happened these two will come under row section and amount will be in the key figure uh, column section and remaining all will act as a free characteristics where i can do further analysis on the data set now after applying this one i can go for filters so next because the, the backend cds shows will fetch whole data from the backend uh, you know um, backend database tables if you want to restrict the data set to be displayed on the front end then what we can do we can uh, you know uh, create filters here for example uh, i can create a filter on physical year so apply this you know select this physical year column and then go for a user input and select you can go for single year or multiple year years or intervals i want to go for single year if you want to multiple single years also, then you can select multiple selection as of now i need um, i want it you know, single year with a single selection that is enough for me then click on save draft even you want to apply filter on any other other, di other dimension also you can do from here in the similar way so i got it got saved then i am previewing before you publish it for the user you can do a preview and check uh, the output here so click on the preview button preview button and then here it is asking for the selection so for example if i get 2000 here and enter then what will happen uh, or else click on go button then it will try to bring data the result does not contain any data okay and this is not a fiscal year is not a mandatory selection for me so without giving free fiscal year also i can uh, you know click on execute it so now what happened i am getting data from 2022 and you see the amounts i am getting star why because amounts are getting star because here there are multiple amounts are there so now for example if i want to see only 2023 data give 2023 on the selection and press enter you know now i am getting 2023 only if i am going for f4 selection on this uh, you know physical year you see i am not getting any f4 selection here means uh, selection screen uh, input help is not coming for the physical year in order to get input help also we need to define specific semantics in the back end then only uh, we will get the input help now this is at company code level now for example current company code currency if i drill down it with currency inr even still it is uh, not showing correctly you know why it is not showing currently mm. Mm. because uh, uh, yeah i know it uh, why it is not showing because if i go to the back end uh, this is my input for my analytical query where um, this AC to the cube one. So in the queries, basically in the cube, because cube is of analytical, uh, you know, query, right? So in these uh, cases, uh, we need to mention the aggregation behavior for the queries. So at the rate of aggregation dot default summation, I need to provide the aggregation behavior for the key figures must and should then only you know the data aggregation will happen properly or else you know we will face a similar kind of issues so now i defined the aggregation behavior for this for my key figure amount it was activated now i am going to the here and clicking on go button hopefully now i can see that uh, You see now at least values are coming with zero in and everything and let me go for 2023 and then uh, go with company code currency yeah even what even zero or whatever it is that i'm able to see the values here now earlier it is star but now uh, i'm seeing the data in uh, inr aid and all so for analytical queries whenever you have analytics uh, annotation in the um, cds view uh, it is uh, for the key figures it is must and should to apply the uh, aggregation behavior also okay i hope so in this session we learned how to create custom analytical query in fury and uh, about the annotations uh, analytical annotations